Good afternoon. Today's project is I'm going to wire this USB outlet and voltmeter to my battery box. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I have a battery box that I use to power the lights on a trailer and I use a solar panel to charge my battery up. What I'd like to do next is, is I'd like to be able to monitor how much voltage my battery has without constantly pulling out my multimeter and hooking it up. I'd like to be able to just look right at the box and see where I'm at. If I need the solar panel, if I'm doing good on power. Also, I'd like to be able to plug some USB devices in. I got off of Amazon for about $10. Comes with wire. Comes with some fuses. Directions in German. And this little device here. So it's got a waterproof cover. It's got a voltmeter. If you open it up, it's got two USB 3.0 ports on it. It's got a power switch so I can turn it on and off so it's not constantly telling me what my volts are and actually draining my battery. So if I ever want to know what the voltage is, hit the button, it'll tell me. And I was just kidding about, the directions are in German, I wasn't kidding about that, but um, I'm sure there's English in here somewhere. There is. It's got English as well. And it looks like if you do the QR code, you could probably watch a video on how to install it. It's uh, very straightforward, I'm going to say. It does have, even on the back, it's got positive and negative. In addition to the colors, this one's bronze, this one's silver. So you'll know which way to hook up your wires. The wires themselves have the proper connections on them already to connect to the, to the plug. And then also it's got these type of connectors on the end to go to the battery. I'm thinking that the connectors that are on there probably aren't going to be big enough to connect to my marine terminals that I've got. Let's take a look. really close, but it's not going to make it. So I'm going to have to probably drill these out just a, a little bit. I think it's easier to drill them out than it is to cut them off and put on bigger terminals. So that's the route I'm going to go. And the fuses that came with it can go right here. There's an inline fuse on the power, the red wire. So that's nice. We are going to need to drill a hole in the side of my box right about here. I'm going to take my center punch and I'm going to make a mark on my box roughly where I want this to go. It doesn't have to be perfect. No one's going to ever look at it that closely. My switch plate came off. I'll have to fix that. That's kind of a disappointment. I've got a hole saw right here. It is a one and one quarter, which seems to be about the perfect size to make a hole big enough for this guy to go in. That looks about perfect to me. So we'll give that a shot. That seems good. So we're going to take this, slide it through, put the ring on the back side, and pinch it in there. Wires are actually uh, pretty heavy. They do not do not want to straighten out. I'd say those are probably 12 gauge. Maybe 14, 12, 14, not 16, I'll tell you that. And then if you remember, I need to bore this hole out just a little bit. So we're going to do that. So I drilled out the the ring connectors here and the positive is a little bit bigger than the negative so I use two different sized drill bits to do that and I think now we should be okay to connect them to the battery and to our meter. 
and we'll hook up the positive wire to the positive post and we'll slide this little plastic sleeve that's on there down to cover up the connection so that nothing accidentally touches that. We'll put the negative on the negative and we'll slide that little plastic sleeve down over it. All right, now that we've got those connectors on, we are going to connect the wires to our marine terminals. So put the marine positive terminal on positive, negative on negative. We will connect our positive wire. Okay, positive wire on the positive marine terminal, tighten her down. Negative on negative. Tighten it down. All right, moment of truth, let's turn this on. And I'm getting 12.6 volts on the voltmeter. I've got a multimeter over here, let's try plugging that in. That's interesting, it says 12.42. So not exactly the same reading. Maybe maybe my, my uh, USB voltmeter is getting a better connection or something. Let's try up here and up here. 12.41, 12.42, and it says 12.6. Another test I want to do is I want to make sure that those USB ports work. So I've got a little light here, and it does. So one USB port works. Interesting. One's upside down. And the other USB port works. Awesome. So that project is a success. One last thing I wanted to point out is the little protective cover that's on the voltage meter can be closed and you can still see the voltage, so that's kind of nice. Cover open and closed. Little window on there so you can see the voltage. The other test I wanted to do on my voltmeter was to see if I plugged in the solar panel, can I watch the voltage go up? And the answer is yes. It started at 12.5, it's now 12.6. So the voltmeter will come in handy as I've got my battery draining and charging. I can keep a, a watch on it and see what's going Thank on. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And if you like the video, please like it. Thank you.